Midnight 29 here. You're probably all wondering, a real life video? What you doing? Tasting food again? Well, no, I'm not tasting food again. At least not yet. No, this is just a real life video series that I'm going to be starting called Midnight Moments. Yeah, okay, I'm running out of ideas. Just slightly. There's another series I'm starting and it starts with Midnight too. Whoops. But that won't be starting for a long time yet. Mainly because I'm far too tired to do that at all. These videos are going to be not regular. They're going to be every now and again when I feel up to it. And I actually have something to say. It could be anything from the last week's episode to morals or stories I'm thinking about, to asking you questions, or even just an update in my life. So yeah, Midnight Moments. <laughs> so this Midnight Moments, I actually asked Twitter whether or not I should wear my headbands or whether I should show my bald head, both of which I'm fine with, reason why I asked Twitter. Funnily enough, I gave you three options. Mix it up, headbands, or bald. Guess which one you voted for. Nope, not headbands. You said to mix it up, which I was kind of shocked by, but at the same time not. What shocked me most was you guys not voting for, and I mean no one voting for baldness at all. Zilch. Nada. I was surprised. I don't know why, but I was surprised. I thought some of you would have gone, oh sure, show it, show it, doesn't matter. No, you just chose scarves or mix it up. Oh, it was interesting to say the least. So, at least for this video, I'm wearing my headscarf. Partly because I think I look absolutely badass in it. <laughs> Another thing I like to cover in this Midnight Moments is also last week's episode, which I find very interesting. Not only because I can't wait to see what the film fictions do with Buckball, but also Snails. Snails was a character I wasn't really paying attention to. I didn't really care about him. Didn't hate him, but I didn't really care about him either. But he was actually quite interesting. He has incredible control over his magic. And mainly because he just doesn't think about it. He just does. Which is an unusual way of using your magic. Probably a bit more counter to what Twilight would do. Twilight is all about thinking and focusing and learning. Whereas he's just like, meh. Okay, I'll do it. Nothing better to do. Which also begs the question, why didn't Applejack or Fluttershy ask Twilight? But I guess it would have been a bit unfair to have a princess on the team. And Rarity didn't show up. But again, probably didn't really want to be involved in Buckball if it meant mess. Oh well. But it was very interesting, to say the least. I wonder what else they could do with snails. And I also wonder how many fan fictions are now going to come up about snails. So expect some snails and buckball in the future. So yeah, just thought I'd throw my thoughts out there. Midnight moments, short and sweet. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you when I see you. Stay brownie!